Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we are going to be reading 1 Peter chapter 2. Desire the sincere milk of the word. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and all hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as a newborn baby desires the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow, grow thereby, if ye so ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. That little segment right there is saying that we should be clinging to the word of God like a child. Uh, we should be absorbing the positive words and good good things that come from the word. The word gives us life and gives us truth that we need to hear as Christians to grow and become strong in the Lord. Verse 4, offer up spiritual sacrifices. To whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God, and precious, yes, also as lively stones, are built up spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up a spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, Elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto ye, therefore, which believe he is the precious, but unto them which is disobedient. The stone which the builder disallowed the same is made the head of the corner. And a stone of a stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient. Whereunto also they were appointed. But you are a chosen generation of royal priesthoods as holy nations a peculiar people that you should follow, shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light which in time past were not a people but are now the people of god which had not obtained mercy but now have attained mercy so that segment is talking about having ourselves rooted in the rock, which is Jesus Christ. Our rock should be the Lord. So we need to stay rooted in that truth and believe in the truth of God and not disobey him. Those that disobey are not found on the rock of salvation. Verse 11, abstain from fleshly lusts. Dearly beloved, I beseech thee, as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may be your good, that may be your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. So, we should be abstaining from earthly desires. Now, we can still enjoy things, but the things of the world that are against God, we should be doing the opposite. And then making sure that we show that we are people of God and not people of the world. Submission to the government, verse 13. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be king as supreme, or unto governors as them that are sent by him in the punishment of evildoers, and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God, that with well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but a servant of God. Honor all men, Love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. So in today's time, that would be honoring the law, um, honoring uh, people in charge. 
Now, we should be listening to them um, always. Uh, the only time that we should not be listening to them is if they're going against God's will and, and they're asking us to do things that God does not say. That is when we choose God's law over the law of man. But if it's a law that is made that is not against God, we have to follow that. Submission in business, verse 18. Servants be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the frowned. For this is thankworthy, if a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully, for what glory is it when ye be buffered for your faults, ye have taken it in patiently. But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, that is acceptable with God. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that we should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guilt found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again, when he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged righteously. Who his own self bare our sins in the body of the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripe ye were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. So this section is commanding us to live a godly life. Um, now, because we are not perfect, we will fail, we will make mistakes, but our objective is to continuously become better to resemble Christ. Christ was the only one that never sinned. So it is a daily walk to try to get closer to Christ and become more like him now this is difficult because you have to deny yourself daily to do this. And, it, and until the end of days, we will be working on it until um, we either go home to the Lord or Jesus returns. So as you are on earth right now, all brothers and sisters, I tell you, work on yourself so that you will be like Jesus to show the example to other people. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will begin on chapter one in the next video.